reasons. I need some answers. And I need answers now. I just need to ask you a couple questions. I knew it. Somebody was gonna ask questions. I knew it. Age stereotypes, fact and fiction, again. Oh. What's going on YouTube? Check it out. So, like I said, somebody has questions about Asian stereotypes. And once again, he just happens to be another fellow YouTuber who I think is pretty damn funny. His name is Jerry Levine Jr. Jerry Levine Jr. I got answers to your questions. So, uh, holla back, Pimpin. <laughs> why the fuck y'all parents so fucking strict? I know y'all traditional. Why, why the hell are my parents so strict? Um, in the words of most Korean parents, Yeah, I said I don't the swimming across the Pacific Ocean for you to be stupid, okay? For all you Asian people out there, you already know. You can't complain about your life to an Asian parent because no matter what you've been through, they've been through something that much harder. Oh, Dad, I just got shot. Oh, he said you got the shot by a bullet. He said North Korea, so I climb up a mountain in the snow with a donkey on my back. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck people be talking about, but y'all can't drive and your eyes are slanted and it fucks up your vision. Oh, my brother, thanks for saying we could drive, uh, even though I don't believe it's true. I don't think you've been to Chinatown, my brother. I'm not sure if this is a fact, but I heard that Chinatown is the only place that State Farm won't appear. Uh, like the good neighbor, State Farm is there. What the hocus pocus, nobody's here. Where y'all get all this money from to be souping up these fucking Hondas and Civics and Camrys and shit? Where do we get the money for all our cars? Simple. Financial aid. I could run fast as fuck, but y'all see none of y'all no Olympics, long jump and high jump, Brits. You've never seen an Asian in the Olympics? Come on, man. But I'll give you something though. We're obviously not gonna be in the Olympics for long jumps and high jumps when our average height is five foot three. We got a seven inch handicap before shit goes down. Plus, when we're going to those countries like, let's be real, Africa, African dudes, ask Nagabo, they're about 25% torso and 75% legs. Could you imagine a long jump or a track competition against an African and an Asian? Be the sorriest Olympic feat I've ever seen in my life. Speaking of Africa, uh, Nagabo just recently went to Rwanda and he got me this bright ass yellow shirt. Nagabo, out of all the color shirts that you got me, you got me the bright yellow one? Huh? You racist biatch? I'm over here looking like an Asian Walmart rollback symbol. Come to Walmart, save your money. Why the fuck rice gotta go with every fucking thing? Why does rice gotta go with everything? It, that's a good question, I don't know. I won't lie, man, at that section right there, you kinda remind me of a light skinned Bubba from Forrest Gump. Rice pudding, rice salad, rice soup, rice milk, rice banana bread. Fried shrimp, saute shrimp, shrimp fricassee, shrimp soup, shrimp. God damn, I can't even fuck with it either. The girl wouldn't even let me meet her parents. They don't like black kids walking in the house. Why would an Asian father not like a black dude dating his daughter? Don't blame their parents for being afraid of their daughter dating a brother. Any dad would be afraid of their daughter dating somebody seven times the size of them. I'm just saying, to a tiny little Asian man, a big ass brother coming after their daughter looks like a big ass tree with legs. But let's be real, man, you kind of light skinned. You should at least be able to get like, you know, one foot in the door. As Korean people like to say, uh, you're, um, I like the chocolate. I don't care what nobody say, the stereotype is true. Don't let no Asian fool you and think they can't fight or kick and have your ass in a coma. Asians do not have to go to karate class. Let me tell you something about Kung Fu. Kung Fu is um is a bluff. The reason why Kung Fu is scary is because when you see a grown ass man pretending that he's a tiger, that shit is crazy. Hey, don't touch me with the asshole. <sighs> Here's a general fighting rule for all you people. Crazy always beats strength. Because with strength, you already know what to gauge. With crazy, you don't know what the hell's gonna happen. Somebody might, you know, get that knife out and chop your nipple off and sew it to your back. I never see one Asian. It's always like 30 of them bitches. They be all just doing fucking leg exercises, ready for something to pop off. You got it on that one, man, homie. It's true. You mess with one Asian person, you mess with at least his immediate family, which is about 32 people. And you know what? I still don't really understand why, why, why Asian people have so many kids. I mean, it's not like we're gonna use them on the farms anymore, you know. I'm talking about the ones in the, you know, the United States. I sound racist. If y'all have any more questions, go ahead and let me know. I'll be more than glad to answer them. But until then, Jerry Levine Jr., good questions. Love your video. Holla back. Um, Nagabo, I hate this fucking shirt. Sorry. And before I end this vlog, yes, that's food back there on the Mac screen. Okay? Don't be fucking judging people and shit. What's the matter with you? What I can't eat... I'm here. You've been recording the whole time this part. No, back and forth. Okay. He waved once. I wanted to wave one more time. Look, look, look over here. Look over here. Wave again. Nagabo, there's a pretty girl here. Nagabo.
Um, Let me scream something, something random so you can get it. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God, that's weak. Are you see, see looking. Give him away. Give him away. Give him away. Wait over here. One more time. One more time. One more time. There we go. There we go. There we go. He gave us a little pervert wave too. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. Blow kisses. You know what I'm doing. No. No. Blow kiss. No. Blow kiss. Do it. He did it.